Hi, I'm Liz Dabriskie, I'm 26 years old and I'm a 1500 meter runner and I'm part of Team 2012 supplied by Visa. The whole, you know, Olympics being in your home country is something that's kind of, it's a double-edged sword. Like in, the, in one aspect, you know, you've got those initial sort of feelings of it being phenomenal, amazing, exciting and then you kind of look on the other side of it and realise actually this could be pretty terrifying. <laughs> it's such a big thing and um, it means so much and it's so important. So something that you have that much passion about and you want to do is, is going to, you know, it, it's going to kind of be a little bit scary but I think in a good way. We're sort of into winter training now which just, it's just kind of real sloggy hard work. So it's, um, it's pretty much the foundation to the summer so it is it is very, very difficult, but um, it kind of acts as a really good springboard for, for the future events. 2011, um, we have our European Indoor Championships in March, and I'm uh, going to hopefully do the 3,000 metres there. And then um, we have the World Championships again um, in Daegu, in South Korea. So I'd love to kind of, you know, go one better than my silver medal last time. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I think it's a really good opportunity being prior to the Olympics to kind of suss out the opposition, see what people are doing, so a big year coming up. 1500, um, like most distance events, is something that's always quite open. Um, you know, the uh, top athletes often change. Um, not only have you got to be the best race runner, you also have to be a good racer, you have to be a good tactician, and you have to be able to think on your feet. And in terms of the best runners in the world, there, there are sort of five or six really strong competitors up there who could you know on their day win the race so we've got we've got a, a lot of depth in the women's 1500 at the moment. When I was growing up I've always been um, inspired by a lady called Julie Rose. Um, I was um, brought up in Kent and um, Ashford which was the stadium that I trained was actually named after her. Um, Julie died in a plane crash um, before I was born and um, she was a runner and she used to run the streets of Ashford and she was sort of famous, you know, um, in, in, that, in our area and um, it was such a tragedy you know, that her life was taken from her. She was very young but she held so many records and won English schools and so she was someone who I would always try to chase and try to follow and I just remember when I broke the club record that she held, you know, it was a really big moment for me so she's somebody that's kind of really inspired me. The peak age for um, distance runners is 28. So hopefully in London, I'll just about have hit that peak and hit it right. Um, Kelly was 34 when she won her um, double gold. So uh, yeah, I like to think that there's still a long way to go and a lot more to progress to in the future.